a stain on my shirt? That's just how it's gonna have to be. Hi, I'm Julia. I noticed a lack of V. I, like you should be, am mildly to extremely obsessed with Bo Burnham. And the other day, I fell into one of my usual Bo Burnham YouTube polls. And I was watching one of his songs that he performs on one of his Netflix specials. And I've heard this song, quoted this song, referenced this song many, many times in my life. But this time, struck me with inspiration. So in Bo Burnham's song called Pandarin, he basically makes fun of country music by saying that all these country songs about dirt roads and trucks and country life are all sung by city-raised millionaires who've never worked a day in their life. I have a private ranch that I I rarely use. I don't like dirt. He talks about how in country songs people basically just list off a bunch of nouns mad lip style to pander to the audience of country music and that got me thinking. Could you really write a hit country song by literally just filling in a mad lip sheet with thoughtless words that sound country? So I've been listening to Billboard 100 list of top country songs and I think Bo Burnham was right. So of course my wild in mind has been thinking about this for multiple weeks and I finally got on to making a Mad Lip sheet for country music. So here's what it is. So I got my friends and roommates out of context to give me some words to fit into these blanks. And then I filled some in myself. I'm not saying that all popular country music has no thought, artistry, or authenticity. I'm just saying that it doesn't have to. So I made this Mad Lip sheet so the song would be from the perspective of a man. Because when you write a song as a man, women and attributes about women just become easy filler nouns that you can add to the list of objects you possess. It's so simple. Girl, you're like blank. What's like some country nouns? Uh, like sweet tea and stargazing? Girl, you're like sweet tea, like stargazing. And the next line is cliche, which rhymes with the first line. And I can't help myself when you wear those blue jeans. For the second stanza, I have, girl, your eyes are like the thing in nature. One second. What's a thing in nature? That's um, like country. Cornfield. But more romantic. A blue sky. I'll tweak that a little bit. Girl, your eyes are like the summer guy. Then I need another cliche that rhymes with that. Cliche lyrics that rhymes with sky. I'll go for girl your mind. What did you say? Listen to the Billboard 100 of country songs. It astounds me how much people use incredibly cliche lines. They just sing them like they truly believe they made up the line. Country noun, country noun, something about driving. Swimming in the old creek. <laughs> You're in my passenger seat. Get in this truck and we'll drive till we run out of streets. Something about mama or daddy, but your mama will be worried, but we're gonna dance till morning. The thing is, like, even though the song is just like a jumble of like random things and has like no real narrative, you would be astounded by how many popular country songs are exactly like this. It's just like a jumble of words together. So the words in the chorus are double time, meaning that like in the verses it was like dun 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 dun. In the chorus it's like dun 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 dun. Baby, you are country now. Cold beer. Maybe I should say like you're better than. Oh, like I love all these things, but not as much as I love you. Oh, that's good, that's good. So I'm tweaking this Mad Lip sheet a little bit. I love my cold beer. Love my cowboy boots. I love pouring rain. I love summer days. Then there's like the minor chord. Dun, but the punchline of the chorus is always kind of like a roundabout thing. The trouble with girls is nobody loves trouble as much as me. But I could never love country better than I love loving you. Dance. Girl, I 
but you should be used to that by now, so. But I challenge you to try country my lips for yourself. Also, I'm aware that I look like a rat in this video, so don't comment below about that, but also you should expect that by now too. I hope you all have a great day. Follow me on Instagram. Also, a lovely girl named Callie Blair wrote an article about me on assemblyseas.com. I'll put it in the description. You guys should check it out. It was so fun to have an interview with her over Skype. And I'm so honored that she wanted to write an article about me. What the heck? That's amazing. Y'all should check it out and have a great day.